Wong Hong, lecturer in the School of Marxism Studies at Xi'an Minzu University, to take his seat as the guest speaker. Thank you so much. Committee member of Naya Shakti, New Force, and former minister Hishila Yami. I guess she is also on the way. Likewise, I would like to request Chui Guiten, Director of Institute of Contemporary Socialism. Today, my colleague and my successor of the uh, Confucius Institute at Kami University, Professor Dr. Wang Sun Li. Various universities and institutions of China are here in Kathmandu for a two days conference. Today, the inaugural session will focus on the Nepal China political relations, whereas, tomorrow's session will be focused on connectivity and China India Nepal trilateral partnership. Since the chief of Sinhua News Agency, Kathmandu Bureau, Chao Sen Ping, is not in Kathmandu at the moment. Tourism and cultural exchanges. I'm sure I want to conclude here remembering that the famous Chinese anagle which says when there is a strong blow of wind, some erect a wall to stop the current of the wind and others build wind windmills. We want to build windmills. Now this year, Confucius Institute and Temple University will celebrate its 10th anniversary. This August gathering of distinguished personalities. I would like to thank the organizers for providing me this excellent opportunity. Pardon me, Prime Minister and the Chairman of Communist Party of Nepal, UML, distinguished dignitaries on the DAS of the DAS. Nepal-China relations has most of the time remained trouble-free. Even now, we don't have any contentious issues to discuss and finalize. It has always been a firm relationship, stable and steady, to which we are very proud of. This is for the success of your conference. Peaceful trade of goods as well as interaction of culture and civilization. Based on this glorious legacy, the vision initiated by the President of China aims to promote trade and business linkages as well as cultural and infrastructure connectivity. I don't need to elaborate that. When I say connectivity, it's the connectivity of railways, road, electric gates, etc. Second, transit treaty. Well, I'm sure we always complained with only India, forgetting that there is another country in our neighborhood on the north. In the change context, transit should be a priority in dealing with China and a new fresh transit treaty. Although we don't have any transit treaty so far with China, we must have a transit treaty with China at the earliest possible. And it is also the responsibility and international obligation of China. Nepal always is clearly in favor of one China. This is 
not one party is one government's policy but this is nepali policy one china policy <laughs> against or which activities do not match with this policy nepal do not allow do not tolerate that is nepal doesn't allow any kind of activities against china and doesn't allow any kind of activity or use nepalese well last year i got opportunity to visit universities to have talks in high levels with the excellent president prime minister and i got opportunity to deliver speeches in the universities uh, like for many universities at chuan university xian university like this and also i got opportunity to take part in bao conference and sangai cooperation forum and also